Okay, I'll try and keep this uh, nice and simple. Um, I don't want a long, long-winded, drawn-out thing like them stupid yanks do. Anyway, replace the rear window on an MG F convertible, 2003. Um, I don't know what year this started. In the 90s somewhere. And um, here we go. Quite simple. Inside the car, you'll have a zip with a little tag on to stop the zip unzipping. I don't know if you can see that, but remove the little silver tag, unzip the top half of the window, unzips all the way across. Go to inside the back of the car, pull the trim away, and when you will have how many of these? One, two, three, four, five little catches that you release. This will then lift the back of the roof up. That's about all you need to do inside. Get yourself outside. You'll see a line of pot rivets. All you're doing is simply drilling through these pot rivets, drill each one out. There are two hidden, one each end underneath the main roof canopy. You'll find those when you take them out. You take this rivet out here, you'll see another one down the bottom here that's actually holding the end of this bar on. That's just a metal strip. So take all those out. Take the two hidden ones out. Either end, your whole window section will remove. Send your window section off to somebody on eBay. It cost about 50 quid, 60 quid. As a replacement unit, they normally come back within a day or so like mine did. And simply reverse the process to get the, to get the window in. So literally zip the window in, your new window from the inside. Put the little cat catch in to stop the zip undoing. Once you've done that, come to the outside. Make sure all your holes are big enough for your rivets. I think it's about a four mil drill bit. Some decent length rivets as well. Uh, so make sure the rivets go all the way through and your holes are big enough before you actually attach the roof. So pull the roof over, pull the little metal trim back on, push the pot rivets through, tighten the pot rivets, and you're done. Simply go back inside then and flip these catches back over these catches here flick them back over to lock lock your roof in place and it is as simple as that it's about it's probably about a 40 minute job to get it on and off or off and on anyway thanks for watching i hope it helps bye bye